Yeah, you're a sweet girl. Some big old horns. Yeah. Hello. It's Sunday morning. There's a trailer on my truck. I'm going to pick up some new friends. It's going to be a busy day. I got the llama shear coming. I'm pretty sure I just saw a Facebook message that said the other farm they were going to shear is too wet. So I guess I got to check out our llamas and see if they're ready to go. We had a, a rapid forming storm last night with like 60 mile per hour winds. And I didn't put the llamas up because I didn't think it was supposed to rain. And they normally don't go in the shelter anyway. So um, the llama shearing will be a different video. This one, well, I'll just show you when we get there. Hello. How are you doing, pretty girl? That is the most awesome tornado shelter I have ever seen. I love it. So I'm at my neighbor's. Horn, horns are a problem. We just got them penned up. They penned them up this morning. And they're worried that she's going to go under that hole. She can get her head under it. She's going to try to go under it instead of getting in the trailer. So we're doing some, what do they call it? They call it Southern Engineering. <laughs> so unfortunately, I can't um, record... While this is happening and Beth is home with the baby, she had a very bad night. So I'm just kind of <laughs> trying to kind of give updates as, as I have a chance. But I'm getting all three of these Longhorns. And I'm gonna have to make two trips because they won't ride in this little trailer together very well with horns so the llama shear sent me a message the farm she was supposed to do this morning they're too wet so she wants to come do us first and our llamas are, are a little damp so hopefully I'm done with this by the time she gets to the house Okay, um, I wish I could have recorded more of that. Um, it was it's relatively interesting. I got one cow at home already, and I got the, the mama and the calf in the trailer right now. Um, so the mom Wednesday, the calf is Lucy, and the other cow we already took, her name's Monica. She's actually Wednesday's um, daughter also so th they're all related so let me uh, focus on driving and I'll catch up with you at the house Wednesday we're home so Beth texted me that um, Monica who's out in the pond was not very happy and the llama shearers are here <laughs> So let me let these two out and then we'll go talk to the to the llama people. This is a busy morning for me. Um, let's see how this goes.
Come on, girls. Come on, baby calf. And there we go. We've got cows. Abe, you are a good boy. It is now 11.45. I made two trips to get three Longhorns and the Lama Shears have come and gone. And now I finally get to eat something. <laughs> I did have coffee, so, you know, don't worry, but I'm getting pretty hungry. You look very cute. Hi girls. I hope you all are okay. So we got Wednesday in the middle. I think she's four. Monica on the left, she's two. She's Wednesday's daughter, and the baby calf is Lucy, who is also Wednesday's daughter. And they're still a little, they're still calming down. I really like the little longhorn symbol on Monica's head. She'll probably get renamed because Beth doesn't really like the name Monica. What are you doing? All right, guys, it is Monday. Everybody's chilling. I, I want to do this out here with the cows. If it's too windy, then I'll just move. So I wasn't looking for cows. We weren't looking for cows. Here she comes. Hey, sweetheart. Anyway, we weren't looking for cows. Um, we kind of leased our pasture, our back 15 acres, to our other cow neighbor uh, in exchange for hay in the wintertime. I feel like I need to face this to the wind. And he, he sent me a text and said, hey, Deborah Kay wants you to call her. Deborah Kay is a lady that lives around the corner. She's a barber. She's got a little barber shop set up at the, the front of her place. So I called her up and she said, hey, I have to get rid of some of my cows. Do you want them? 
And I said, well, let me talk to Beth about it. So I talked to her and, you know, a couple weeks later, we bought them. I'm not going to eat them, I don't think. The bigger girls are purebred Longhorn. I think they can be registered. I don't really care about that. Um, the baby cow right there, she is half Angus and half Longhorn or something like that. She, she might get eaten. <laughs> I, I don't know. My thought was, you know, um, the way that cows and sheep graze complement each other. So if I graze the sheep somewhere, then I bring the, the Longhorns through and they eat the stuff that the sheep don't. Don't you? They seem pretty chill. I actually fed them by hand last night. She's <laughs> scratching on the fence post. I would have scratched that for you. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, and then I figured my neighbor over there has got a bull. So next year when little Lucy is big enough to have babies or a baby maybe I can use his bull and get all three of these girls knocked up and then eat and or sell the calves that's what I was thinking our only problem so far is that white dog back there that just jumped through the fence She's having trouble figuring out that these are her cows. She keeps barking at them and the cows are like, whatever dog, we're gonna do whatever we want. We're way bigger than you. My problem with that is I don't want the cows to associate people with barking dogs because you can feed them by hand and if they start associating me with barking, that's bad. So I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Uh, I had intended to make the llama video uh, different from the cow video, but since it just kind of worked out this way, so I'm gonna roll with it. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and edit and put it on the internet. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one.